Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So this makeup look is going to be kicking off a, uh, a series and I'm going to be doing different makeup tutorials inspired by Marvel characters. So this one is inspired by the Hulk and you can see a little bit of the greens and the purples to try to incorporate like the colors and take a little bit of inspiration from the character themselves for like why I put what colors where and all that sort of stuff. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to be doing a couple different ones. I'm aiming for wearable, so this is like, it's definitely, some of these are going to be way more like evening looks than like something most people would wear out of the house every day. Like this is nothing, absolutely nothing for me. I've had way more dramatic makeup to leave the house, but I hope that you enjoy it. And if you want to learn how to do this Bruce Banner slash The Hulk inspired makeup tutorial, then keep watching. Okay, so as you can tell from this side, I already did part of the makeup tutorial, then my card got full, and when I went to delete the old stuff on it, it also deleted the first bit of this that I filmed, so we're gonna start over and I'm just gonna cut you up to this part and then we'll move forward on to what I was gonna continue doing. So I started with a little bit of Bare Study on MAC Paint Pot, and just put that over my eyelid. Because my general idea for this, as I explained first time around, is to have uh, the upper eyelid be the Bruce Banner part, and then to have a green smoky eye underneath, the reversed smoky eye thing where you have like the colors underneath there, as the Hulk. So, taking a fluffy brush and the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette, I'm going to go in with the color Naked which is that little topi one right there, and just sweep it through my lid, just through the crease part, a little bit on the outer V, just want to add a little bit of definition there, nothing too much. Then after that's put through, I'm going to take a flat brush and the color Venus, which is just this first one here, and pat that on my lid. Then also under my brow bone and on the inner corner of my eye to get a little bit of a highlight going because don't want it to get too dark with all like the dark greens and everything that's going to go under the eye. So I took a MAC pigment which is called True Chartreuse which is a very gamma e green and I'm just going to take a little bit of that on a pencil brush and run it underneath the entirety of my eye underneath from inner corner to outer corner. And we want to put it right into that tear duct area. And all the way back out, going slightly past the corner of my eye, looking up towards my brow here to make a little bit of a wing. I'm starting to the other side now. Like so. Then I'm going to go in with a Makeup Forever color, and it's going to be this green right here. And this one I'm going to keep held to the outer corner. Till about halfway in, right where my pupil is. There we go. Just like that. So, now you're caught up on both eyes, and the next step that I was going to do is to go in with a little bit of the color Hatter, which is this green right here, from the Alice in Wonderland palette by Urban Decay. And this one, I wanted to put over sort of middle portion of my eye because true chartreuse wasn't as bright as I wanted it to be so I'm gonna get a little more green going okay now 
To darken up just the outer corner a little bit and make it a tad more and pokey, I'm going to go in with a mix of Faint and Crave on Urban Decay Naked Basics palette. Just because I don't want it to be black, but I don't want it to be brown either, if you know what I mean. So I'm just going to do pencil brush, a light tap into one, and then into the other. There we go. I'm going to focus this very much on the outer edge. I don't want to get rid of any of that green through the inner part. There we go. And like so, we have the under eye green smoke. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's get on to the rest of the face. For the rest of the face, let's just start out with a little bit of a base. I'm going to use the Steela CC Cream to get my skin nice and even. Now that my skin's all pink from being rubbed, Let's put my foundation on, so I'm using the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless. Make sure to shake it first. Then pop this on. There we go. And I'm actually going to blend this in with a brush this time. Yeah, the wonders never cease. But I got new foundation brushes. I'm trying out the XO Beauty foundation brushes. And so far I actually quite like them. This is the uh, round top one. I don't know if I like these better than my beauty blender or if they're just sort of a thing that appeals to the lazy person in me because I don't need to get up and put water on a sponge. Which is probably the most depressing thing that you've heard in a while, that that is actually too much effort, but... Oh well. Here you. Then let's go in with some concealer. I'm going to use the Naked Skin Concealer by Urban Decay. I need to branch out with my products again. For a while I was doing mostly MAC and now I'm doing mostly Urban Decay. Need to try new things. There we go, then to blend that in, let's try the tapered face brush. Make sure to blend I'm making sure to blend down with it this time because I don't want to mess up any of the makeup that I have under my eyes already. Probably go back in with a little bit of extra green just to make sure when I'm done. Make sure I didn't cover anything up. Now I'm just going to set this really quickly with a little bit of the MAC Prep and Prime Translucent Powder. from being confused with a Loki look, I am going to put in a little bit of purple on the lips to get sort of that, the green and purple, which is like the comic book hawk kind of thing going. Okay, so Rebel from MAC, and I'm just going to put that on my lips. Okay, so lips. Oh, I forgot my eyebrows. Okay, I'm just gonna fix my eyebrows quickly. I don't want to do too much. Just a little bit of primping, so I'm gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. I'm not gonna go for like a sharp brow look or anything. And 
finish off a little bit of mascara. I'm going to use the Sephora The Mascara Mascara. And just apply a nice even coat. To my eyes. Oh lord. My eyebrows are the bane of my existence. There we go. So here we have the finished look. I hope that you guys enjoy the video and I will have more makeup tutorials inspired by Marvel characters coming soon. <laughs> Bye guys.